James Tyler Kant, J.T. Kant, eminent world renowned homeopath. Born in Woodhull, New York of the United States of America on 31st March 1849. He acquired his primary and secondary education in Franklin Academy of Pittsburgh. He completed his higher education in Colgate University where he received his degree and PhD in the year 1869. He got his degree in AM alternative medicine in the year 1870 from the Madison University. He got his degree of medical education in eclectic system of medicine from the Missouri from the Medical Institute of Cincinnati. He underwent instructions in allopathy, homeopathy, naturopathy and different medical systems. Because of his training in all systems of medicine, he developed the spirit of tolerance and knowledge about all the medicinal systems and in his later years chose the best medicinal system that is homeopathy. Conversion to homeopathy. Kent got married at the age of 26. He started his medical practice as an eclectic physician in the city of St. Louis of America. In his early medical practice, Kent was not impressed by homeopathy, but the incident that happened in his later years of life not only changed his impression but also the future of homeopathy. His wife was suffering with insomnia which refused to respond to any system of treatment. Dr. Philan, a homeopathic physician, treated her successfully. The case taking methodology adopted and the water dose administered by Dr. Philan initially seemed non-sensual to Kent, but the improvement of his wife by such procedure impressed him very well. This situation made Kent to study organon of medicine and other books on homeopathy. With the help of Philan, Kant started practicing homeopathy and became a remarkable homeopath in the history of medicine. He died at Stevensville, Montana on June 6th of 1916. Now let's move on to the contributions given by Kant to homeopathy. During the years of 1881 to 1888 he worked as the professor of materia medica in the post graduate school of homeopathy St Louis Between the years 1890 to 1899 he was a teacher of materia medica at the school of homeopathy Philadelphia In the year 1897 he published the repertory of homeopathic materia medica Kant was having sound knowledge in philosophy, materia medica and repertory which is called the triad of homeopathy. The intelligent use of all these three subjects only brings about success in homeopathic practice. In the year 1900 he published the lectures on homeopathic philosophy. In year 1905 he published the lectures on homeopathic materia medica. He worked as a senior lecturer in materia medica at the Henneman Medical College and Hospital at Chicago from 1903 to 1909. The lectures on homeopathic materia medica was published in the year of 1905. Kent advocated to begin the practice with lower potencies, especially the 30th potency, and then gradually increasing to higher and higher potencies. This method was very close to Hanemian method. Famous homeopaths like Sir John Ware, A. H. Grimmer, Pierre Schmidt, B. K. Bose, and many more were the disciples of Kant. He advocated the use of 30th, 200th, 1m, 50m, cm, dm, mm potencies made with centesimal potency scale. The series in degree doctorine was introduced by Dr J T Kent he found that one potency is not sufficient in curing the chronic diseases many chronic diseases were cured by keeping the patients under the influence of one indicated remedy for many years his contribution to literature of homeopathy is remarkable 
evaluation of symptoms simple substance law of vital action and reactions are the few according to the later law a medicine is too high to cure so long as it is capable of aggravating the symptoms belonging to the sickness in the first hour of acute attack and in the first few days of chronic sickness what the doctors need to know is another contribution of kent which guides the physician about the knowledge he must acquire kent was also a great prover in his books new remedies clinical cases lesser writings and aphorism and percepts he published the proving of new remedies Kant was a member of American Institute of Homeopathy, International Hanemian Association, State Homeopathic Medical Society, British Homeopathic Society, London President and Trustee of Chicago Homeopathic Hospital. So the contributions of J.P. Kant are very valuable in the homeopathy. Like, share, subscribe the video and subscribe for more such videos.